Hello everybody, Kevin Savatella here with One Team Realty. Are you looking for a brand new, larger home in the heart of Orlando, Florida? Yeah, I think I found the one for you because today we're in Everby by Pulte Homes. And now this is a brand new community. So you're getting a first look at this 3,400 home community that's gonna be throughout 10 phases. And it's gonna have all the amenities that you will like. I mean, it has a community pool, it has gym, clubhouse, playgrounds, and even the city of Orlando is putting a community park right in the neighborhood. And you are also close to the 417 highway, the 528. So if you need to get in and around town, this community works great for you. And you're only just a few minutes away from UCF. But today, the floor plan we're gonna be checking out is the Mahogany Grand. Now I've toured this home and man, I wanna build it for myself so badly because I love the house. I really love it. So you're not gonna wanna miss this one. It's gonna be, it's called the Mahogany Grand, but standard is called the Mahogany. And it's usually a one story, but they added the grand option, which adds the second floor, which gives you a big loft and an extra bedroom. And that adds about 800 square feet to the house. So the one we're gonna check out is about 3,200, but standard it comes a bit smaller, about like 2,300 square feet okay so i want you guys to come on in and enjoy the tour all right so now let's check out the mahogany grand now this home is actually normally called the mahogany and it's a one-story version which will be 2379 square feet three bedrooms and i believe three and a half baths and then you could choose to get the grand option which gives a second floor that could be up to five bedrooms and five bathrooms and like I said earlier, I'm very biased to this house. And as you guys know, I'm partnering with Breeze Homes where we could build a home for you. And I think I'm gonna build this house for myself. One day, I will film you guys my actual home once I build this house. But I do love the front porch right over here. Beautiful front porch. Now, you might look at it and think it's a two car garage, but actually that window right there is part of the garage i don't know why they didn't just put a third door but hey the builders they do some unique things sometimes but let's go on in and check out the mahogany grand now walking on in you are able to do an option called the drop tray ceiling so instead of the tray ceiling going higher they actually added more drywall going down uh, like that, they don't have to inflict into the floor joists of the house. But yeah, you got a nice white foyer coming on in. I am a fan of all these mirrors. I mean, it doesn't make me look fat, but... But let's go check out over here. Now, I believe standard, you got like a study right here. As you can see right here is a den right in the front. But you could make this into a bedroom and full bath so standards a half bath and a study but hey i think i would prefer it like this where you got a full bedroom you could still make it into an office or a den as you see here but at least you have that flexibility of it being a bedroom as well and then hey if you're bored you could play some putt putt work on your on your mini golf skills sorry i had a little hiccup there and right over here, you got the bathroom. So, man, I really like the colors that they picked. The brown is really nice. I wasn't a fan of the brown cabinets before, but it's been growing on me and seeing in this house, they did it pretty well. And then they did do the upgraded shower instead of a tub and shower combo. They actually did a walk-in shower. Now, I am going to be showing my fiance this home because, like I said, I, I really like this house. I know she's going to like all the gold accents in this home because she's a big fan of gold. So right here, you got the staircase leading up to the loft space and then also the extra bedroom. But yeah, going right over here, you are welcome to the main hub of the home. And look at how big and grand it is. This is the Mahogany Grand, so it is pretty grand. But we're gonna start off right over here, where you got some storage space. Now you're gonna be like, Kevin, 
Why is there such a small pantry for such a big house? There's another pantry. Bear with me, alright? Now over here, I like what they did here because this is usually just an empty space. But you're able to make your kitchen even bigger by putting cabinetry right here. So look at all this space that you have. Look at the huge kitchen. I think this is like a 12 foot kitchen island. And they did do the gourmet kitchen package where you got... It's actually unique because you got the cooktop, you got the oven, you got another oven, and then you got the microwave. And there you got the vent. And then you also got cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling that makes the kitchen look that much better. And then right here, instead of you seeing drywall, you actually see the finish of the cabinets, which looks awesome. And then on the side of the island, they put another cabinet where you can have extra storage space. Now they did spend a lot of money on upgrades in this kitchen, so keep that in mind. This is nowhere near a standard kitchen. But we'll continue right over here where you have your laundry room. And then here, this is the pantry actually. So I know there's no shelving yet, but you could put shelving along that wall and then along this wall as well. And it's a huge pantry. So you get two pantries in this kitchen. And then right over here, you have some storage space in their staircase. So plenty of storage space there. And then let's take a peek at the garage. Remember the garage, it had a two car door, but then it had those windows. Which I find pretty weird in a garage, but this is actually the first time I believe that I've seen a semi-decorated garage. I'm pretty sure there's an option to put a door there. I don't know why I didn't just make it stand or Back to this main living space here. I'm a huge fan of this one. Here you do have the option of putting a double tray ceiling so you can see Right here, you got one tray ceiling and then another tray ceiling. Looks pretty good. I like it. And then here they put a six-seater table, but you could easily put a nice bigger table, which I would personally do. A lot of space for entertaining right over here. Right over there, you got your master suite. And then to the right side, you got two bedrooms and a bathroom right in the middle. But let's go take a look over here first because you got quadruple pocket sliding doors. So here, let me show you what that means. So you could close this side off. And then over here, you could push this side too. And then now you have one large opening. And then you also do have an upgraded lanai here because I believe standard, the lanai goes up to around over here. And then they did add a little bit more, but that's definitely worth adding because look at how big this lanai space is. Now, one thing they are missing is the outdoor kitchen, but that they, they did, I guess, I don't know if that's just a piece of glass or, out, or that's supposed to look like an outdoor TV, but yeah. Now don't pay attention to the ugly water that they have there. They just opened up this model home, so they're still working on making the model homes look perfect. But yeah, do you see yourself being able to entertain out here with this big cover lanai, a nice big pool? I definitely can. But let's go back inside. I gotta close these doors, which takes me a couple minutes. Nice video, just take me a few seconds. So bear with me, please. And then we're going to go right this way where you guys can see the two bedrooms. So right here we got one bedroom. So just your standard room. We'll take a peek at the closet right over here. Just your normal closet, nothing crazy. And then 
right here you do have a little linen closet which is always good to have near the kiddos and then you got a full bathroom here you got your sink toilet and then shower with all the fancy gold hardware as well and then look at this this is jack sparrow's room right over here I guess for the twins that like Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe. Now we still gotta go to the master right over here where you can see my reflection way down the hallway. But let's go check out the master. Now I believe there's an option. If you didn't want to extend the lanai, the, sorry, I bumped the camera. You could actually make your master bigger or you know, covering that extra lanai space. So you want an extra large master? That's an option for you as well. But yeah, pretty good size master bedroom. Definitely more than enough. I mean, you got a huge king size mattress there. You got huge nightstands on both sides. You even got a big bench over here. So plenty of space in this house. Or master, I shall say. And then right over here, you do have his and her sinks. I do like how it's a really long countertop. So there's plenty of space for both her. I guess her will come up to here and then he can have this little space. But there is lots of drawers here. So it's good to put away extra things. And then now this home does have the upgraded shower. So you can see here, it has the bigger shower. Let me see if I turn the light. Yes. So it does have the bigger shower where you got three shower heads. So you got one right there, two, three. I'm a huge fan of rain heads. So I, if I'm ever custom building a house, I'm definitely getting a rain head. The nice thing about this is that you're able to turn on everything without getting wet. And so now there's no water in these houses yet, so obviously I didn't get wet. But you got a nice little window as well, a shower niche to put away your soaps and whatnot, and a bench if you want to sit down, shave your legs, whatever. And then right this way, you have your toilet room right over here, where you got the royal throne. And then here you got your linen closet sorry somebody was calling me and then here you got your master closet definitely a good size like i said this is gonna be for me and my fiance this is about double the size of what we got right now so now let's just go upstairs and finish up this house tour. Sorry, trying not to waste any time, but oh man, take a look at that kitchen again. That big kitchen island, and even more kitchen over here. It's a beautiful home, I love this one. Now they did do some pretty cool things with the staircase. So you can see they put like a backsplash on every single step that is probably a hefty upgrade if they even offer that but it looks pretty cool now one thing i would do different is i want a media room in my house so i'll have to see how i could incorporate this but yeah when you build with us breeze homes you get a little bit more creative and go outside what the builders normally do but check out this big loft right over here they have like a four couch kind of setup. Pretty cool. I'll probably put a pool table on one side and then a couch to watch the TV on the other. And right there, you got the AC unit. We won't even look at that. But right over here, we got a regular bedroom. And then we got the bathroom for upstairs.
So thank you guys for joining me on today's home tour. I'd like to finish off in some of my favorite spots in the house. Now, obviously this kitchen is amazing. And then also the sliding doors in the back with the huge line is awesome. Now, if you're interested in building this home in Everbee, feel free to let me know. They have a little bit of a waiting list, but I could try to get you in there like that. You could be purchasing this home a little bit sooner. And if you do want to custom build it on your own lot, have a little bit more land, um, you could let me know too. I mean, there's lots of lots throughout Central Florida. So depending where you want to be, we can maybe build something for you. Custom with more land and nicer features. But if you enjoyed this home tour, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And if you or anybody else is looking at buying a new home in the Central Florida area, feel free to call me. I'd love to help you out. In the meantime, see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.